the first Shabbat of 5,782. Feels like I haven't seen you all, whole year. Isn't that the joke one's supposed to make? No. Something about writing checks with 5781 on them still. No. Well, this Shabbat is not just the first Shabbat of the year. It is also known as Shabbat Shuvah, the Shabbat of returning. It is also known as Shabbat of the toughest Jews. Because, you know, I know this year feels a little different because we, we didn't get to hang out in the synagogue for three days straight just yet. Uh, but this is the Shabbat when usually we the got most... To hang out yeah, we got to hang out. We got to. Right, right. I, I know, I know. Laurel and Anna are feeling uh, kind of an overload of, uh, of sensations. <laughs> You know, this is one of the special things about this time of year is that we, we like each other a lot, obviously, but we do like to hang out with all of you. Uh, these last two years, I think this has been testing our friendship because <laughs> we've missed all of you. I think we're still okay, right? Good. <laughs> Page 20.
Shabbat by turning towards the door. <laughs> That's the tradition for Lechadodi. <laughs> but you know what? This is actually, I'm sure, made up. And you know why? Because the Kabbalists of Tzfat in the 16th century who wrote the Lechadodi and came up with the whole idea, they didn't sit, sit in no room greeting Shabbat. They went out into the fields. That's how they greeted Shabbat. They were trying to be one with nature. So, you know what? We're doing it the right way. Whichever way you want to welcome Shabbat. Please. If you want to turn towards the darkness over there, please do it. Towards the light over here, please do as well. Boy, be shalom, aterel ba'ala, tam be simcha, uvet sokola, tof Let 
We turn now to page 28 as we continue with Barhu, so please remain standing. We've decided to save you all a little exercise. Uh, Can I do that one? With the iPad? You want to do the... Uh -huh. Sure. Sure. Okay. All right. Why not? Well, that's the scary part. We don't even need to name things anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they just know. Mm. That one? Yep. What yeah. about that one? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Number 36. <laughs> y you know, there's only two, two realities in which this happens. Either when people are married for a very long time or where they've been in the same cell in prison for a very long time. <laughs> This situation is probably a combination of both of them. A combination of both. <laughs> there we go. Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? talk about the fact that Judaism is all about transitions. These moments of transitions that we mark the entering into Shabbat and the exit from it with Kiddush and Chala and candles and of course with Havdalah at the end with all of the transitions of festivals and seasons and times um, like light and darkness, the mezuzah on the door. These moments of transition are one of the such an important one of the key elements of our human experience but certainly 
in the way we view human experience through the lens of the Jewish understanding of the world. It's all about transitions. Some of these transitions are beautiful and wonderful. Some of them can be a little tough. Um, with arrival of September, we are now moving into the regular times for Shabbat. And so we were faced with a very real challenge. How do we do this? Uh, in order to enjoy the, these peaceful, beautiful green Shabbatot that we were doing out there on the lawn, we would have to continue pushing the, the service earlier and earlier every day until we would have to have Shabbat at, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's not going to happen. So we remembered that we have these beautiful new lights thanks to our wonderful team writing grants and, uh, and securing funding. Uh, so uh, beautiful, wonderful. And up until today, or up until last night, we thought that these lights were for cars. <laughs> well, it turns out we can, uh, we can be uh, a little more creative with them as well. So um, for those of you at home, um, uh, unfortunately, I've had some, of course, I had some technical difficulties, but I'm going to show you what this actually looks like. We have taken over a parking lot. There you go. Uh, it's beautiful. Um, so, you know, we're trying, we're trying to be creative. We are trying to be creative and uh, nothing, not even the darkness can keep us away from being together and grieving Shabbat. Uh, page 32. There are mosquitoes, however. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Show us the way, teaching us to number our day. When we rise, when we lie down, We continue our service with the words of Shema, the prayer of holiness, the prayer of identity, the prayer of transition as well. We say it twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. We rise, as is the custom of our, our community. Shema. Oh uh -huh. 
ושרתם לאות על ידיך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך. למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם אלוהים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם. Please be seated. In the middle of page 39, let us join together these words uh, come from an old prayer book and uh, they have found their way alongside the creative um, and modern liturgy and poetry. Uh, in a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. <laughs> from bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Nations shall be one and at peace. And shall we rejoice as Israel did on the shores of the sea. Page 40. Mi chamocha ba elim Adonai Mi chamocha neda ba kodesh Ra lehi wa ho 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 se pele Malukha ra u ba necha Ke hayam lifne mo shenze li Anu ve amru Adonai mo Page 42. <laughs> Got disco lights going. <laughs> Let there be light. I'm the standing among us. Let be light. 
Peace and friendship, we are shelter from life's storm. Let there be love, understanding among us. Let peace and friendship, we are shelter from life's storm. Ashkiveinu, Adonai Eloheinu, Ashkiveinu, Veshalom. Let there be love, understanding among us, let peace and friendship be ours. Ashkiveinu, Adonai Eloheinu, Ashkiveinu, Veshalom. Let there be love, understanding among us, let peace and friendship be a shelter from life's storm. Baruch atah Adonai aporet sukkat shalom aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. We are a people in whom the past endures, in whom the present is inconceivable without moments gone by. The exodus lasted a moment, a moment enduring forever. What happened once upon a time happens all the time. Page 46, would you please rise? Lo 
למען שמו באהבה. Remember us for life, O Sovereign who delights in life, and inscribe us in the Book of Life for your sake, O Living God. Continue the rest of the Amidah in silence and you may be seated when you are ready. Bottom of page 58. Salam, salam. 
סלה, סלה. וכל החיים יודו חסלה, סלה, סלה, סלה. ברוך אתה אדוני, העת טוב שמך ולך נאה להודות. סלע, סלע, סלע. Page 60. Grant abundant peace to Israel, your people, forever. For you are a sovereign God of all peace. May it be pleasing to you to bless your people Israel in every season and moment with your peace. And for Shabbat Shuvah we add, in the Book of Life, blessing, peace and prosperity, may we be remembered and inscribed by you, we and all your people Israel, for good life and for peace. Blessed are you Adonai, who makes peace. Baruch Ata Adonai, Oseh. השלום. I'm going to invite you to leave a few moments of silence at the end of Amida for our private personal prayers to be offered at this time. Bottom of page 62, middle of page 62. Shalom, everyone. How are you doing out there? You're frozen yet? 
It's very pleasant. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's it's a little strange because you're saying things there and I and hear them from there. there. Right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought somebody made a sound over there. And <laughs> I almost panicked. Mm -hmm. um, so to today is Shabbat Shuvah. Today begins Shabbat Shuvah, this Shabbat of returning, this special <coughs> moment of transition. Not just the first Shabbat of the year, but the transition between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur in what feels like one continuous moment of 10 days, Yamim Nuraim, the days of awe. Of course, this Shabbat also marks a different, a different point in all of our lives and all of our history. The punctuation mark um, of September 11th. Tomorrow, hard though it is to believe, is the 20th anniversary of that day. Um, it's been a very interesting thing to process. Um, all of us, and I know some of you here, have experienced it really firsthand. Um, have lost loved ones or people you knew. Um, there is an entire new generation of people who have grown up, who are now grown-ups, adults, who were either not alive or were babies when it occurred. But the reverberations of that event and of that day continues to this day and perhaps will always continue, leaving an imprint on the life of this country and on life in much of the world. The way we live, the way we travel, the way we understand our role in the world, the way we understand the role of our country in the world, for great many Americans and beyond America, that was the day when it was truly shaken. Um, I was a, a young rabbi, recently ordained, leading a tour of the sanctuary in this historic synagogue that I served for American college students who were spending a semester abroad studying in one of the colleges, a popular thing, uh, no doubt. And most of them not Jewish. I don't think there were any, any Jews on that tour. In fact, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, I was asked to meet the group downstairs. And as I was coming down, something on the radio, one of the workers in the office had the radio on and said, she said a plane flew into a World Trade Center. Nobody had any idea. Maybe a little accident, maybe a small plane, you know. You, you. I went downstairs, I led the tour, talked about the sanctuary and Judaism and Torah scrolls the way one does. And as we were leaving, because it was an American group, I said to them, you know, something really strange as I was on the way down here, Somebody mentioned something. They panicked. This was the early days of cell phones. Certainly when you were in international waters, right? Those who did started grabbing their phones, trying to contact their loved ones, hurriedly left. And I, I got into an elevator and I went up to the third floor where my office was. And as I walked out, I had a small office and I, and I walked out of the elevator and I saw pretty much every administrative worker in the building piled into my into my little office and I didn't understand what was happening but my my office was the only one on that floor where you could roll the TV out of the lift and straight into into there and so I walked in to to see it all on the screen unfold and well we all know the story I could have never imagined in that moment that 20 years from now I would be leading a Shabbat service here in Connecticut where we have lost many and for so many people we could we could see that not on television but in real life 
One of the traditional Jewish acts of mourning is the tearing of our clothes, the performance of what's called the kriya, literally to tear in Hebrew. By ripping the fabric of a lapel, a pocket, or a sleeve, or a black ribbon opposite our hearts, we acknowledge the, through a physical act of tearing the emotional and psychic sundering that death brings. In response to the loss, fury and sorrow we experience as we process grief, the Jewish tradition decrees that we rent the fabric of our garments, that we might thereby begin to find our way in some small measure to wholeness. But what shall we do when it is the very fabric of our society and the world that is rent? What shall we do when the rending is the cause of and not the response to our grief? How shall we react when the way we understand the world and our place within it is rendered unrecognizable? What do we tear then? And how do we begin to make our world whole again? There's a story, and I've shared this story a number of years ago with some of you, so you may remember it. There's a story of a young child who found a large map of the world in the magazine. Curious, the child took the map to his father. Seeing an opportunity to challenge the child, the father took the map of the globe and tore it into, two, into many, many pieces. Fragments of the paper fell to the floor at the child's feet. And then handing over a roll of tape, the father challenged the child to reassemble the map of the world. And then the father returned to his Sunday paper. I don't think that's the best pedagogy uh, overall. The child dropped to the floor and in short order completed the assignment by correctly taping together each of the pieces of the whole of the world. Where only minutes before the image of the world was torn asunder the strewn and strewn across the floor, now it was being offered up as an intact whole. When the father asked the child how it had been possible to reassemble the fragmented world so quickly, the response was short and to the point. There was a picture of a person on the back side. I repaired that one person, and the whole world got fixed too. May we never forget that to fix the world around us, we need to begin with just one person. The psalmist proclaims, God is my refuge and my strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Help us to feel that help, O God. Let your presence be a light within to dispel the darkness. Let your nearness, your silent speech within the heart, be a comfort to us. We pray for the courage to carry on in the face of disappointment, for the wisdom to learn from adversity, for the strength to build a new and better life. Your spirit can transform affliction into salvation. Enlighten us, therefore, that we may look to the dawn of a new day with confidence and trust. May hope abide beyond the moment's loss. For you, O God of hope, our sustaining power, even when we have fallen. Keep us from self-recrimination. Give us peace of mind and contentment of spirit. And let us say, Amen. As we mark this difficult day, may we be comforted by the fact that it is indeed Shabbat Shuvah, the Shabbat of returning. May we begin the healing with ourselves. And may that healing spread to our community, to our society, and of course to the world around us. Page 283, would you please rise for Alena? Alenu le shabeach ladon akol, latet gedola le yotzer breishit, sheu sam chelkenu le achedet shemo, vegohor alenu le amlich malchuto, vaanachnu korim, umishtachadim umodim, Lifne melech malche hamlachim hakadosh baruch hu venemar vehayah adonai lemelech al kol haaretz bayom hahu bayom hahu yeh adonai echad ushma. Please be seated. It appears that I have uh, 
missed our prayer for healing and uh, we definitely definitely need some healing uh, tonight tonight we're praying for Greg Evans Abdul Rahman Muhammad Martin Lifshitz Megan Gleason Nada Ottenstein Sandy Zakin Frank Alvarado Carlene Wagner Yechel Shol Ben Rachel Harriet Lieberman Sue Ann Scala Dion Couture Mark Levine Ruth Handler Robert Healy Susan Walton Stacy Goldberg Megan Russo George Benedetti Sharon Levine Barbara Boston, Millie Stein, Rachel Perlman, Sue Daniello, Sharon Rocha, Jack Perlman, Yefim Krieger, Elena Berger, Mitch Broder, Tia Mandrosas, Willa Jingalaski, Anne Rack, Adrienne Bletchman, Basha Dvor Batshira, Irene David, Benjamin Finkel, Steve Schiff, Rob Sugar, Perry Schwartz, Doug Stacy, Steve Fine, Alma Hammond, um, Mary Ellen McDevitt, Michael Sachs, Harold Stern, Miriam Fagel, but Itke, David Pellet, Yona Ben Mine, Yitzhak Herschel Ben Meir, Shoshana Batsarella, Tzvi Ben Dina, Tony Wood, Robert Flaherty, Paulette Marcus, Rita Sachs, Louis Gordon, Marvin Lang, Shol Guetta, Sonia and Don Noyes, Sam Capello, Chuck Kurtz, Stephen Zuckerman, James Murray, Kathy Langston, Hannah Bella but Libby Cecil, Karen Winograd, Anna Whitcore, Randy Sobelman, Bruce Feldman, Eliezer Ben Sarina, Micah Greenspan, Gary Teller, Rivka Batpanina, Keith Silver, Batya Batmiriam, Mildred Saltzman, and Marilyn Cohen. If you have any other names to add to the prayer for healing, you may do so now. Baruch Atah Adonai Rofea Cholim. May the <clears throat> May the Eternal send healing to those who are in need of healing. Page 253, if you would like to follow. <laughs> Turn to page 294, and we continue with the words of Kaddish. We'll rise in a second. I'm, I'm going to let you sit. Since we're already sitting, I'm going to let you sit for a moment. Uh, tonight, we remember Shelley Losty, mother of Blake, Nora, and Wendy. Elliot Mazur, husband of Lynn. Milton Rubin, father of Harvey. Richard Sachs, father of Carol Herrick. Hilda Shulnitz, grandmother of Michael Shambram and Jamie Schumann, stepfather of Joan Kleiger. We also remember those who passed away in recent weeks and months, Bernard Koppelman, Irene Zonderman, Stuart Ginsburg, Rose Mantelmacher, Walter Sofian, Daniel Beck, Elsie Goldberg, Ingrid Stone, Pearl Rosner, Alan Mushin, Sandra Feuerstein, Phyllis Olshansky, Ruth Scheinfeld, Sylvia Abrams, Hyman Glock, Norbert Eglush, Miriam Ratner, Nancy Sukman, Susan Mingione, Bess Fleischman, Ruth Rosenthal, Milton Woke, Pat Valente, Selma Fishkin, Talma Fenichel, and June Gordon. Uh, is there anyone else here observing a yard site? And of course, all of the victims of 9-11 whom we remember today. Uh, 
Barbara Burton, Jerry Smart. On Shabbat, we light two candles, one for remembering Shabbat and one for observing Shabbat. Tonight, we light these two candles. This one is for building one and this one for building two. This one is for the Pentagon and this one is for Pittsburgh. This one is for those on the American airline flights and this one for those on the United Airlines flights. This one for the hundreds of firefighters. This one for the hundreds of police. This one for all the men and this one for all the women. This one for all the girls and this one for all the boys. This one for our luck running out. This one for the New York skyline. This one for the walking wounded. This one for the critically wounded. This one for the survivors. This one for the dead. This candle for building one and this candle for building two. Would you please rise? It gadal vid kadash shmei raba v'alma divrach reute v'yamlich malchute v'chaye chon v'yomei chon v'chaye dechol beit Yisrael v'agalal v'zman kari v'imru amen yehe shmei raba mevarach le'alam u'lalmei almaya yid barach v'yishtabach v'yitfa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yithadar v'yitale v'yithalal shmei dikudsha v'yichu Le'ela ule'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush bechata v'nechemata, da'amiram v'alma v'imru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shmaya, v'chaim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'imramav, u'ya ase shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Please be seated. Actually, I realize that we only have the microphones that we're wearing, so I'm going to ask. I can. Uh, I'm going to ask Laurel to to read the announcements. How about? Oh, that? <laughs> I've never read the announcements before. Uh, well, there you go. Okay, I'm um, playing the part of Len Farber, who's supposed to be reading the announcements <laughs> this evening. Um, Shabbat Shalom. A warm welcome to all visitors who are joining us today, and to all of you. Yom Kippur begins Wednesday night, and weather permitting, we will be holding the family service at 1 p.m and Mincha services at 2.30 p.m. outside and in person. <laughs> yes, <coughs> I will repeat, the family service at 1, that's old. Mincha service at 2.30, outside and in person, that's new. Well, the family service outside yes, and in I person, that's, that's also old. new. I no, that's no. also new. Oh, really? Well, we, that, no, we, we never that's said we... we published, well, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> we will be sending an email with updated times this week. All services will continue to be live streamed on Zoom and YouTube. The Jewish Community Alliance for Refugee Resettlement, otherwise known as JCAR, is celebrating our sixth family in our sixth year with a High Holy Days greeting card sale. JCAR children and teens offered personal artwork that we made into packets of folded cards with envelopes wrapped with a ribbon, which will sell for $20 per packet. Contact Pete Stolzman or Gene Silk to purchase cards. For the 28th, con 28th consecutive year, TE is holding our High Holidays Food Drive, donating much needed food to the food pantries of both Jewish Family Service and the town of Orange. Check the blast for details. What was the word, Will? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> The TE High Holy Day Appeal is once again online this year. Please check your email for a link, also included in the Shofar Blast, to learn more about Tikkun Olam charities selected this year, and please be generous. All the details of our events and programs are available on the TE website and in your weekly email Shofar Blast. Are there any other brief TE-related announcements? Masterfully, masterfully delivered. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and this is Shabbat Shuba. So last year, during High Holidays, we introduced one of these recently written melodies that we love very much. We here return. We here return. We here return. We here return. We Return. We 
May God bless you and keep you. May God's countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the blessings of God always surround you. May God give you, all the children of Israel, and all the humankind, God's gift of peace, this Shabbat Shuva, this anniversary of 9-11, and always. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. A huge thank you to everyone who ran to help and helped set up today uh, to everyone who gracefully weathered while we were waiting and of course to Laurel and Anna for making it here in time and singing with me tonight. Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova. And of course to all of you uh, joining us at home, Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova as